Oh yeah, that's me. Uh, Anya Devine, have a look at the links below to know more about me and the workshops and I do and things. I haven't done a video for a while now and uh, I was just about to do a little drawing before going to sleep and I thought, why don't I make this into a video? So this is my not so tidy bedroom. It's actually not bad really. The white sheet isn't going to be so white for very long. Anyway, so there's a cyclum in here that's that's uh, d uh, started flowering again. I'm so glad because uh, usually they die on me after the first flowering. So this one decided to, to flower again and there's a bud and two nice flowers on it and I'm just going to do something in the few minutes to um, uh, touch in with some, some bit of painting drawing. Okay, so I thought I might start with just a marker pen. It's good having the radiator in the background there because it allows me to see the shape of the um, flower more clearly when there's just the white background behind. Um, so I'm looking at each little section on which is the highest and the kind of general shape of each little uh, peak. Uh, so I'm going to gradually find the shape of those without getting too involved. You might occasionally hear Maisie whinging downstairs. I think she's settling in for the night though. She's had three three walks today and she's been out and about around the around the kitchen and living room a little bit. Um but really we need to kind of be on high alert when she is there that you can hear her there. When she is around the house because um you know, she there's there's a lot of things that, that she could get stuck in. Including the cats. <laughs> Although she's not bad with the cats, to be honest. She just really wants uh, to play with them. But they don't want to play with her. So we wait until they're interested first. See, that's her now. That's the, that's the sound that I find really quite difficult to ignore. But a lot of people who are um, well up on the whole dog thing have said, Anya, make sure you don't let her out when she whinges because it'll only keep happening. I never do that for the children but it's too important for us to have space. Like today I was able to, she's, she's really settled in it today, like we had a couple of long walks in between but she settled in while I was painting my commission and just was quiet and dozing away so that was really refreshing, thank God. I had visions of it never being okay. Um, yeah, and we just give her special treats when she's gone into the into her bed. Okay, so I'm finding the the color and the tone of each segment of the flowers now as well. I put a bit of green into the red there because into the pink because I wanted it to be slightly duller than that bit. That's a bit duller as well. I should really put a touch of. So this is sap green I'm putting in. Okay. And the grey marker was a bit heavy there, but sure, it's all right. Okay, and then there's a little bud down here. Um, and I let Maisie out before um, I go to sleep myself. She'll, she'll go out and do a pee first. But she pretty much sleeps through the night, you know. Okay. It's just the uh, constant kind of radar that's the... The tiring thing, I think. Are you still there? You are. Lily's singing in the shower. <laughs> singing in the rain. Right, I've just got about a minute left here now. So, uh, I want to kind of establish this flower and maybe do a little bit more to explain the leaves. I hope I've got time to do that because I wanted to show um, the, the little army of greenery that's down below. Are you still there? Yes, you know the way I wanted to kind of get something of the, the leaves. So they're blue-green I think those cyclamen leaves. And just to kind of get a feel for the general shape of them as they sit below the flowers. Yeah, 
uh, I think a touch of this Prussian blue maybe it is would be quite nice to go behind the flower for the higher leaves there seconds to go now so I maybe take the opportunity to say it's been lovely chatting with you and all the very best to you all